Hi guys, today on Man Cave Munchies, I'm going to show you how to make coconut custard pie. And as you can see, I'm heating up my uh, convection oven here. Uh, so we're going to set that to 400 degrees. But before we do any of that, first thing we got to do is we have to create our picture perfect pie crust, which I'll show you next. But this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need some eggs, you're going to need coconut flakes, you're going to need milk, you're going to need some vegetable shortening, some flour, some salt. A one cup and a half cup measuring cup and a tablespoon. So let's get started. So let's start off by showing you how to make picture perfect pie crust. You take your scoop here, one cup in the bowl. All right, and I'm going to put about one and a third cup into the big bowl. That's all there is to it. Okay. Then we're going to take our half cupper and we're going to fill it up with vegetable shortening. Like so. And I mean you want this sucker to be full. There are only two reasons I keep vegetable shortening on hand for biscuits and pie crust. And what's great about this pie crust is you can use it on pies, you can use it on quiche, pot pies, I mean it works on, on just about everything. Okay, once you fill it up, like so. Then you dump it into the bowl. Nothing to it, right? Then you take your fork. And you just take your fork and you just start mashing it in. And it's going to take a little while because you want to make sure you get the shortening all broken up into little bitty pieces parts until this starts to resemble crumb cake. It's getting there. Shouldn't take you more than about meh, a minute of mixing. There you go. Okay. And I usually pull the last of the shortening off my fork. So I've got a clean fork. And now for the magic part. Because now what you do is you take anywhere from three. So I'm going to do three to start with. One, two, three tablespoons of ice cold water. And you keep mixing. The trick is you don't want this to be too dry, but you also don't want it to be too wet. And as you can see, it's already starting to clump, but we're probably going to need to take up to six. So let me give it four. I'll give it five. And then we'll reserve the last one or half of one or however much we think we need to form a dough. And as you can see, it's starting to pull itself together. I think we're going to need at least half of that, so I'm going to go for a half. You know, you get, kind of get a feel for this, but again, you don't want it to be too wet. You don't want it to be too dry. Okay, and then again, clean your fork. And now I'm just going to get in there with my hand, start pulling this together. What we're looking to do is make a little dough ball here. And then we're going to put it on the cutting board over here, break out the rolling pin, and roll it out into a pie crust. And the trick is to do this again. You don't want to get too wet. You don't want it to be too dry because you want it to be nice and flaky. That's what makes the vegetable shortening crust so good. Anyway, there we go. We got your basic dough ball. Put that on the cutting board and get everything else out of the way. Get yourself a sheet of wax paper. Put the dough ball in the wax paper and fold it over. About like so. And press it down a bit. Then you got to break out Mr. Rolling Pin. Voila. And then the trick is to slowly work this thing down into a disc. Because again, you want it to be big enough to fit the pie pan. Which in my case, is this sucker right here. Go. 
it back carefully, try not to lose the pie. And then take your pie plate, put it right on top, put your hand underneath it, flip it over, and peel off. Try not to peel the pie with it, but peel off your pie crust. And you're going to need to work it a little bit more with your hand, but the trick is get it in there and then just start working it around into the pie pan itself until it more or less takes on the shape that you want. But not least, you take your fork and you prick it all over. Because if you don't, it could expand underneath there and crack. And we don't want that. Make sure you get the sides too. There you go. As soon as that thing goes beep, 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 we're going to pop that in there for exactly. 10 minutes. There we go, put that in. Set it for 10 minutes. All right. Then while we're doing that, let's get on to the next part. And for that, I'm going to use my other pie pan. And no, we're not making two pies. What I'm going to do with this, we're going to get ready to toast us some coconut. One cup. One cup of coconut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save just a little bit for the top. I'm going to put, I'd say, about three quarters of a cup of coconut into the pie pan like so and as soon as this comes out in another eight minutes then I'm gonna put this in there and let this toast for ten. Okay. Alright so now let me show you how to make the custard. For that you're gonna need two cups of milk, you're gonna need a quarter cup of flour, you're gonna need a half a cup of sugar, that is sugar, you're gonna need three eggs and a little bit of vanilla. Alright so let's start off by putting the milk in the blender. One, two, three, and we'll start our blender. We're making a milkshake, right? Well, you'll see what's going to happen next because we're going to go back over to the kitchen and we're going to actually cook this until it comes up to a low boil and starts to thicken. All right, time to take the pie crust out. It's partially baked, as you can see. We're going to put that on the cold burner back here and I'm going to swap this out. Like I said, it's going to take about five minutes, maybe up to ten, depending on your oven. We'll keep an eye on it as we go along. Keep that cooking. And then we're going to start working on the custard. So we need one dry pot, which I'm going to turn on to about a medium heat. Okay, and we're going to take our jug of custard and we're going to pour it into the pot. Now if you don't want to make the pie, just skip, skip this part, that's fine because you can actually just make this as custard, but you're, you're going to follow the same directions, and directions are like this. Whenever you're making custard, you must keep stirring. 
because if you don't stir, you run the risk of burning the milk, and you don't want to make tobacco-flavored custard. Now, do we? And the reason we don't have to worry about putting any coconut in here is we're going to put the toasted coconut in this once it starts to thicken, and then I'm actually going to put some on top. We'll pour it in here. We'll bake it for another 10 minutes. But you'll see what happens with this. It's going to come up to a slow bubble, and as soon as it starts to get close to boiling, it's going to start to thicken, and at that point we'll take it off the burner and then do the next step. There we go. Nice and thick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. We're going to take this off the hot burner. look at my oven to see how we're doing on our coconut. There we go. Nice and toasted. And you take that, you pour it in your bowl, in your pot. And then we take it back over here and we stir some more. There you go. And you just pour it into the pie crust. Like so. Try to get as much of the custard as you can. There you go. And the last bit goes to the chef, but make sure you blow on it. Put a little fresh coconut on top. We're going to put it back in the oven for exactly 10 minutes. Let's take a look. There we go. We can toast it some more if we want to, but I kind of like it light, don't you? What do you think? Looks good. There you go. Coconut custard pie from Man Cave Munchies. <laughs>